What's up guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. You know who I am. You guys are watching this, you most likely know who I am. And uh, that's a good thing, right? Um, I just wanna start out by saying I sure hope that the videos that I produce, the, the content that I share, the realistic, no bullshit approach that I contribute to my YouTube channel, channel and to you guys is, I mean, I hope you guys appreciate the effort I put in. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I just wanted to shoot a quick video and basically give you a pep talk of this uh, upcoming fast approaching uh, detailing season. Um, I was recently up north, uh, well, I shouldn't say up north, it was farther north than where I'm at in Tampa. I was up in Virginia and the weather was amazing. I mean, into February and you could very well be making money outside detailing cars and still be comfortable doing it. That's awesome. I just want you guys to have all of your ducks in a row uh, for this upcoming business, detailing business season. Keep in mind that the customer comes first. You do not. What you think should be done should only be a recommendation for what the actual vehicle needs and to potentially upsell. Um, make sure you're asking the proper questions. Make sure you have an initial consultation with the customer so that if there's any defects on the car, dents, dings, scratches, whatever, you can identify that to the customer prior to ever touching it. That's a cover my ass secret, uh, which is always good. You know, you there are some customers out there who are looking to capitalize on your mistake and the mistake there would be not pointing it out. So always do that. Um, you know, you definitely wanna have a business plan and when I think about business plan, I think about where I'm at, where I wanna be in a certain amount of time and writing a generic list of that down and following it makes sense in lots of ways and it will definitely benefit you. So write down a business plan. I mean, even if it's as simple as I have X amount of dollars in the bank right now, by April 1st, I wanna have X amount of dollars in the bank right now. You know what I mean? Um, a business plan is a very easy way to focus to, to stay focused on goals set goals work towards them and achieve them um, there's lots of different things you can put on a business plan but basically it needs to, to say where you're at and where you want to be in a certain time frame so put something like that together I'd be more than willing to help if you guys need me to help with that it's not complicated um, every year I uh, I do my own and uh, <clears throat> you know it helps you to stay on track but pay attention to that customer if you focus on the customer you will succeed don't worry about the competition the people around you because as long as you're doing the very best job that you can do and your customers are happy with that and you're building relationships with those customers, you will get repeat business, you will always be their guy, and they're gonna tell their friends. And that's what this is about. Uh, you'll, you'll find that there's more strength in building relationships and providing good quality customer support and customer service than there is in hitting somebody for as much as you can get them for to never see them again. Um, it's about treating people right and with respect, doing what the customer wants, and still trying to keep that passion in your work, but also not going overboard where it eats into your profitability. And, you know, let's face it, we're in business to make money. And, and that's it. If you are contemplating whether or not you go full-time or not, you want to start a detailing business, let me just tell you, 
I've said it in previous videos. I'm going to put it to you like this. My recommendation for when should you go pro or full time versus being a weekend warrior, um, there's two answers. First of all, if you make 50 grand or more a year, keep your day job, do detailing on the weekends. Um, it's going to be difficult to compensate yourself, especially initially uh, with the money that you're making, uh, not making that anymore and just doing detailing. So, you know, if you're making 50 grand a year, that's a thousand bucks a week. It is not difficult to make a thousand. Well, it's, you know, a little bit more than that because there's 52 weeks in a year. Uh, but if you're making 50,000 bucks a year and you need to make a thousand bucks a week to survive, it's going to be difficult initially to have that kind of work steadily and regularly and have that kind of job security. So that leads me to my next, you know, the real definitive answer from me with when do you start a, a detailing business full time or go pro or whatever you want to call it. Um, if you are working only on the weekends or part time and for six months consistently, you make more money detailing part time per week than you bring home in your full time job. It's a good, it, it would behoove you to try to turn that passion into profit and go full time. I mean, realistically in business, you can't necessarily look at your weekly earnings anyway, uh, in business for yourself, I should say. I would say the monthly earnings make more sense because detailing is mostly an outside situation as far as a lot of guys will work outside um, because it's more convenient to the customer to be mobile and that kind of thing. I'll shoot another video on that, but um, most of detailing, you know, most detailers are mobile and they work outside. So the weather can be inconsistent. I mean, you literally can have a week of rain uh, and, and make no money, but the next week, uh, since all the cars are dirty, you're making three, four, five times what you would have made in the week that it rained. So it's wishy-washy sometimes uh, in the detailing services industry. So my, I would focus more on your monthly earnings not so much your weekly earnings. So uh, if that helps at all, but that's where I'm at. When you when you have been working part time as a weekend warrior, or even in the evening times, and you have enough business consistently for six months, where you're making more money week in week out than you do at your full time job, it's a good a good stepping stone to be full time. Uh, to be, um, you know, to go full-fledged into it. Sounds good to me. I mean, some guys out there might be making eight bucks an hour. You might be working at McDonald's and, um, you know, you, you're pulling in a full $18,000 a year. Can you make more money detailing cars? Maybe so. Um, you know, you'll just have to figure it out. I mean, I, I don't mind being that guy to help you figure out your business plan and set you in the right direction. Um, in fact, I welcome that, 813-846-4406. I give you guys this cell phone number every single video that I post. And a lot of people use it, a lot of people don't. But I can tell you, if there's anybody who's got experience in this thing, it's this guy right here. And I am more than willing to help you guys out. So um, just keep these things in mind. Don't worry about the competition. You're only as good as your last job was. And if you're building relationships, you never have to worry about somebody else. I can tell you that relationships are where your business is built. In any business that you have or do or any of that, building relationships, building rapport with your customers and having integrity, respecting the customer and their belongings, if you put out that effort, they will do the same for you, period. Um, 
there's nothing else I can say about that. So pay attention to what's going on around you, have some direction, have, set some goals for yourself and your business, and you know, build those relationships and you'll be successful. Um, having the ability, the skill, earning the skills to be a good craftsman, because I'm sure you've seen my video that detailing is not art. I don't, I believe that, I mean, I know that I earned the skill set that I had. I worked really hard at it to be as competent as I am, am at detailing. So that was not something I was born with. I was like, I wasn't born with that. I worked at it, worked hard at it. And so, you know, you build your skills to be a good craftsman, but that's only a, a small, that might be 10% of running a business. And if you can't run a business, you will fail, period. That's why I don't even bother showing people how to detail anymore. I shoot some videos now and again, you know, showing you guys how to use my products and stuff. But I, I am not putting any wholehearted effort into showing people how to detail better. That is not what this industry needs. You guys need me to show you how to run a business, period. You guys see me doing very well. I got lots of different things I'm vested in. You know, it's not just detailing. I have other industries. I own other businesses. And I, you know, I take pride in the fact that I'm a, a, a great businessman, you know, um, you know, dealing with your budget, you know, the, the finances, the books, the marketing, the advertising, the socialization, social media. Um, there are so many aspects that mean more, matter more or matter equally to how good a craftsman you are that people just don't realize. And if you focus on the customer and not yourself as a craftsman, as the passionate, skilled tradesman that most of you guys want to be because you find detailing therapeutic or whatever. I do too. I love it. But you know what I love? I love, I love making money. I like making money. I have great passion for helping my customers. Um, I have great passion for uh, the detailing industry as far as, you know, what we do. But let's face it. We're not saving the world. We're cleaning cars, boats, RVs, motorcycles, whatever. People like us are a dime a dozen. You've got to find a way to stand out amongst the crowd. And, you know, I have been fortunate enough to be unique enough and loud enough and say shit people don't like enough um, and expose the bullshit in the industry that I have a voice and I love it. And all I'm saying is build a reputation around trust, integrity, respect, and you'll build those relationships and you'll be successful. So this is your little beginning of the season pep talk. And I hope that you guys got something from this. If you guys ever have any questions, I'm always here to help. I want to help. Uh, otherwise, I would not offer to help. So thanks so much for watching, guys. 813-846-4406. Uh, you guys probably already know it by heart. But that's the cell phone number. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.